what's up guys welcome to today's video today we're going to be talking about how to beat man-to-man -man coverage from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook we're going to use a formation uh, that we used last week uh, but we're going to have another play here for you today and the formation we're going to be talking about in today's video is the shotgun um, U-trips week uh, it's also called the wing trips week but uh, the play we're going to be using is different than last week we're not going to be using the uh, giant slot wheel, but we are going to be using the empty fake smash. Uh, so that play here, the empty smash, I really like this play for beating man-to-man -man coverage. There's a couple of reasons why, and we're going to get into those uh, right here real quick. So first you see, the first thing that you see here is that Matt Forte is split out wide here, and I can't motion him or anything. So it's a hidden formation. Now one thing that's really interesting to note about this play here is that I think Forte's route should be unbumpable, but let's see if it is. Yep, it is unbumpable. It's an unbumpable little hitch route. So that's something that we can work off of now. So what I like to do with this play is I like to take Matt Forte, put him on the smart route, the smart route the hitch route. Then I'm going to take Earl Bennett here. And if you take a look at uh, his route, I'm going to put him on a either a deep streak, a deep in route, or a drag. Typically it's probably going to be a deep in route. And then lastly I'm going to take Alshon Jeffrey and I'm going to leave him on that deep corner. I'm going to send Brandon Marshall, Marshall here on a smoke screen and this is going to be a nice little play to beat not only man coverage but two high Safety. So here on the left, starting out, we have this route to Forte to be man coverage. And so if we see the man coverage, that's our primary target. Our second read against man is this route to uh, our tight end here. And uh, the only reason it got picked off is because he got bumped at the line of scrimmage. Uh, when he bumps into the, like the, for example, when he bumps into like the middle linebacker or the defensive tackle. Um, then that's a little bit of a, a problem here. So let's see if we can get it work this time. Here we get it, and it gets a completion. Um, one thing, if you're if you if you aren't too fond of uh, running the risk of throwing that interception, uh, you could just put him on a regular in route, and you see that that's going to beat man as well. Uh, so you can just get really simple on meat and potatoes with this. Um, here we go. We're looking again at this play, and we're going to look to the right side now, and you see that this. In route, the deep in route does a really nice job at beating man coverage as well, uh, because this is a hidden formation. Uh, you're going to get matchups, pro matchup problems, and here we're going to see Alshon Jeffrey should do a nice job at beating his man coverage. The only route that doesn't beat man on this play after the adjustments is this route to Marshall, and you can actually uh, lob this up and kind of user catch it if you want, but it doesn't work as great as I thought it would. Um, another thing you could do if you want to have just every route beat man, you could just put him on an in route, and you see that that's going to beat man coverage as well. So you could have two in routes and in a corner. One other thing here to note is that this is a, there's a couple of other hidden formations in this playbook. So let's show this real quick uh, because this is, we're, this is going to be an entire five wide little mini scheme that I run out of here. But like, for example, the empty fake screen wheel, the empty fake screen, the empty smash, and then, you know, you could put like a run play or something in there. But I like the empty fake screen because you could take Forte and put him on a flat route to the right, and it's like a little middle screen kind of thing that you can get a little fancy with. Um, let's see if this works any way here. Yeah, you can bring him back in the backfield and then kind of swing him out and, and create matchups, pro matchup problems like that. Just a lot of things that you can do with this formation. Uh, you have the wheel route to Jeffrey over here, so you could beat man like that. There's a lot of different unique matchup problems that this formation uh, gives you. Uh, but anyway, back to the play that we were discussing, the empty smash. And I want to show you how this play beats uh, beats zone coverage. So like cover two and cover two sync. And this is why I recommend this formation for like two high safeties. So let's take a look here, and we're going to use the empty smash. So we're going to look against first here, cover two sync. So... Um, let me go back out here to the play. I got accidentally audibled. But uh, here against cover two sync, you're going to see we'll just use those two in routes. 
with that hitch. And so this hitch on the outside is still going to sit in a pretty unique spot against the zone because it's not going to get pressed. Um, so you can you can actually force that in, but that's not the primary route here. Um, as well as this in route, you see that this in route is still going to have a kind of a, sh a shady little area, kind of a finicky area that you can fit this ball in. But the, the main route that I want to focus on are these two underneath little in routes here. This first one to the tight end crossing across, uh, coming across here does a really nice job at beating the zone. And then also this route to, um, as we're going to look through here, this route to Brandon Marshall, if we put him on that in route, when he comes underneath, he's going to do a really good job because that smash route is going to pull the defense upfield. Okay, but then what happens? If maybe say they're in a regular cover two, not a cover two sink, but a regular cover two. Uh, well, let's look at that real quick, and you're going to see this deep, deep corner route should do a pretty nice job at beating the cover two. As you see, the pass lead outside, it does a really nice job because it's such an inverted corner route. So that's really how I like to beat the cover two. Uh, and the cover two sink and the cover two man under uh, it, because it does a really good job at beating all those defenses. Uh, they are actually accidentally pass let up, and that's what can happen. Some people like to pass lead up corner routes, but because this corner route is so deep, you have to pass lead it to the outside. So here we'll show you this again, and you should you should see here this thing should roast it over the top here. And you see it does with the pass lead down into the outside. So mix up your hot routes here. There's a lot of things you can do, uh, but this is a play that I really like beating man coverage. Now, hopefully you guys have stuck around to this point because now we're going to give you the really meat and potatoes tip here. Um, what you can do with this play is really cool. So you could take Bennett here and you could put him on a hitch route because he's an inside receiver now. You could smart route that hitch route. Okay, so that's a curl flat read. And then you could take Forte. You could put him on a wheel route twice and you see now he's on a wheel route. Now watch what happens. When he cuts up field, you can pass that to the inside, go on, click on and user catch it. Um, one of the things that a lot of guys like to do is they'll put him on like a flat route. So they'll put him on a flat route twice and then he'll go on that little flat route and uh, they'll, he'll bounce up to the inside. So one thing, what I mean by flat route is swing route. Sorry about that. But uh, put him on a swing route twice and he's going to go to the sideline, and then he's going to bounce up field, and you can really get in a nice little user catch game. I'm trying to, uh, you know, show you really quickly here, just to kind of close out uh, what we talked about. But I really like the wheel route probably the most uh, because you can get that user catch in, uh, especially against zone. Uh, let's take a look here at the flat route, a little more space here, and show you what can happen with this route. Pass lead down to the inside, click on, and you see you have a, a window there to fit it in. Um, another thing you could do is put him on a block and release route out there. You see that little blue route, so he's going to block for a second, then he's going to release. And I kind of like the release route against like zones and stuff because the zones will fall away from him. And then uh, you could also put him on like option routes. So here we'll put him on an option route, and against man coverage, he turns that into an unbumpable out route. So that's just stuff that you get uh, that you can pick up on. So like, for example, we can put him on an option route because we know against man that's going to be an out route. We can put uh, Bennett here on a smart routed hitch because we know against man that's going to be unbumpable. We got the tight end on that in route, and we got Marshall on the in route, and now we're even having even more success. A lot of cool things you can do from this formation. Just wanted to kind of break down this and, and give this as a potential opportunity. Got a lot of other things coming, but this is how we like to beat man coverage from the Giants mini scheme. And also, guys, uh, I just want to give you guys a quick update on Saturdays from now on. You want to be following me on Twitch.tv. Uh, I'll stream a little bit last night, but anyways, on Saturdays, we're going to start live streaming uh, gameplay for the uh, as practice for the game of the week. So I'll be playing with the Bears all day on Saturday. So at any point in Saturday from like 10 o'clock in the morning to like, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock at night, if you want to come hang out in the live stream, I'll probably be in somewhere in that window. So be sure to keep posted to my Twitch TV t channel so you can see some more Mad 25 gameplay. I know you guys really like it. So be sure you're subscribed to that live stream channel so that when I go live, you can get a notification and you can stay updated and you can see even more Mad. 25 gameplay. Thank you so much for your time. I hope the live stream provides another opportunity for you guys to get better at the game. And I hope that we're, we're also going to be doing this. If you guys would like to get a game with me, those are the days that we're going to be doing that on. So be sure to add me on PlayStation Network, Power P90X. Look forward to talking with you guys and I look forward to the stream on Saturday. It should be a lot of fun. Thanks, guys.